CBS 4 News at 6 begins with the very latest information on the mass shooting in Las Vegas. Many Coloradans were at that concert. Now they're sharing their stories and pictures of what happened. We don't know yet if anyone from our state is among the 59 people dead. But we do know at least three of the more than 500 people injured are from Colorado. Dozens of others did witness that attack. <laughs> The country music concert was in an outdoor arena across the street from the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Authorities say the lone gunman had 20 rifles in his hotel room. Authorities found thousands of rounds of ammunition in his home. The sheriff now says the gunman had ammonium nitrate also in his car. The president asked that flags be flown at half staff in honor of the victims, and Governor Hickenlooper reiterated that request around our state. Coloradans who attended that concert continue to arrive on flights into DIA. CBS 4's Tom Mustin at the airport. And Tom, you talked to many traumatized people out there today. Jim, we talked to a lot of Coloradans who were at that show last night, and they all talked about the terror as the bullets flew by. But we also heard incredible stories of bravery, including a woman you're about to meet who says she owes her life to a complete stranger. Everyone was screaming, crying. Um, it was horrifying. Emotional families embraced a DIA after a night of horror in Las Vegas. We heard a couple pop, pop, pops. We thought it was fireworks. It yeah. looked like a war zone. It was crazy. Sunday night, golden couple Lonnie Langdon and Sarah Lake were among the 22,000 people watching a concert by country star Jason Aldean in Vegas. When shots rained down from above, they were separated as people fled the scene in panic. A lot of people were just, they were already shot and killed and you couldn't help them. You just had to get up and run. In the brief seconds when the gunman reloaded from his Mandalay Bay hotel room, Lonnie desperately tried to get away. Jump and dart behind things, and there's bloody people just everywhere. Sarah says as the bullets whizzed overhead, a complete stranger saved her life. He said, get down, I'm going to cover you, and he laid over me, and he was very brave, and he was shot um, in the head, and I then was covered in his blood. When the shooting finally ended, Sarah says she and other survivors came together amidst the carnage for a moment she'll never forget. We prayed. The whole group sat there and said the Lord's Prayer. And after surviving the unthinkable in Vegas, Sarah and Lonnie say they've never been more thankful to be back home in Colorado. I'm just very appreciative to be at home and to be alive today. So a lot of very, very grateful people tonight. Again, three people we know of from Colorado were wounded in the attack yesterday. The good news is all are expected to be okay. We're live at DIA tonight. Tom Mustin. Karen, we'll send it back to you. All right, Tom, thank you. Of those Coloradans hurt, one worked at the Stampede Bar, has shrapnel in his leg. He believes the group of 35 that he was with all survived. An office manager for a Greeley construction company was also shot. And a police officer from Inglewood also hurt. Curtis Leone attended the Jason Aldean concert also with friends. His sister says the gunshot wounds are not serious.